in this video I'll be showing y'all a step-by-step -step tutorial on this Starry Witch makeup look. This can be worn for Halloween, for costume parties, or even just as a dramatic look. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and without further ado, let's get into it. I already put on my foundation and filled in my eyebrows before this, so I'm gonna go straight into the eyeshadow. Starting off, I'll be using the Sephora Minnie Mouse palette, going in with I'm All Ears with this small eyeshadow brush, right in the crease of my eyelid and winging it out a bit at the side. After that's done, I'll be going in with the same color, but this time on a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna start just above the line at the corner here, and kind of blend it out as I go along. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more to darken it up around the edges. And I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other eye. Next, go in with the same black color and gently pat it underneath your waterline and curve it right in the inner corners like a cat eye. And using the same fluffy brush as before, start blending it all out. Repeat that on the other eye. Next, using the widest eyeshadow you've got, I'm using Daisy's My BFF from the Sephora Minnie Mouse palette. Go in all across your lid, a little in the inner corners here, and a little under the wing. And next is filling in your waterline with a white eyeliner. I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And of course, repeat everything on the other eye. And now it's time for mascara. For my upper lashes, I'll be going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And for my lower lashes, I'll be using the smaller wand from Maybelline's The Falsies Big Eyes Mascara. And now that the eyes are done, it's time to start contouring. Taking the same fluffy brush as before, it should still have some black eyeshadow left on it. So right underneath your cheekbone, draw a faint black line. And now I'm gonna blend that out a little bit with my Kabuki brush. And next I'll be using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Eye Contour Quad in the shade Plum and using the darkest purple here, I'll be going in with a little bit right above the black line. And now taking the second to darkest color, I'll be going in a little bit over that just to darken it up a bit. And I'll take my Kabuki brush again and start blending it all out. And once that's nice and dark, I'll be going in with Mickey Squeeze and lightly dusting it all across the purple for a nice sparkle. And of course, repeat this on the other side. And once both cheeks are done, I'll be going in with the same sparkly light purple as earlier and lightly dusting it at the edges of my forehead.
And after that's done, I'll be going in with the same sparkly purple color again and lightly dusting it at the corners of my nose. And now that all the contouring is done, it's time to move on to lipstick. First off, I'll be going in with Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Witches, and I'll be filling that in all over. And once that's all filled in, I'll be going in with Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Como, putting that right in the middle and blend it all out. And here's probably the most difficult part, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna draw a little star and a little moon at the tops of my cheeks on each side and eyeliner. And the eyeliner I'm using is a little sample of Marc Jacobs eyeliner and Maybelline's Master Precise eyeliner. And once that's done, here's my absolute favorite part. It's time for the glitter. And for this, I'll be using Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Glam Rock. And basically, just think of it as freckles, but glitter. I'm gonna take it and gently dab it all over the cheeks. And it's hard to see now, but just sprinkle that, soak it all over your cheeks, and then just kinda dab it out and you can build it up and up over time to however intense of a glitter you want it to be but I just want it to look like my face has been vomited on by a unicorn. And right now I'm kind of feeling that my lips are a little too bland so being as extra as I am I'm gonna go in with more glitter. And that's the finished makeup part of the look, so now it's time to get the costume together. And here is my finished costume. This cool cape, which is like even longer than I am. I got it from Target for about 30 bucks and I have little dangly bracelets and necklaces. And the cool thing about this necklace, I got from Tilly's for like eight bucks. It has little charms on it, like a star and a moon, which made me think of these. And then I have little crystal necklaces here. And the only downside about this cape is that it's incredibly itchy here. But I mean, you gotta suck it up for the like coolness of the costume. And like this hood is so awesome. Like look at how big this is. I, I don't even have to do my makeup. I just, I can just go around like this. And this is the final look. I got this cape here from Target for about 30 bucks. And other than it being a little bit itchy here from where the clasp is, it's like so amazing. The hood comes down so far. And um, I just, I adore this. I've been walking around so much in this since I got it. And um, I got a little bit of bangles here on my wrists. And um, the necklaces I got from Tilly's. The crystals were in a three pack. I'm just wearing two of them now. And then this little necklace here, you see the star and the moon. It's what gave me the idea to do this. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun coming up with it. And if you guys decide to recreate it or wear it out or do anything similar to this, please, please tag me in it. I'd love to see it. And I'll link all my social medias down in the description below, as well as all the makeup products that I used and the costume.
stuff that I've used in detail in the description below. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel as well. I'd really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And happy Halloween! Bye!